Today I want to talk about depression. I want to talk about depression as it pertains to insomnia, as it pertains to, you know, your life force in physical reality. You not wanting, but us being, I'm going to include myself, us being at a point where our frequency is really low, where we just don't want to do anything, probably only want to sleep, probably can't sleep. And I want to tell you both the physical and the spiritual side from what I see from being through that stage, already surpassing that particular stage in my journey. In the physical reality, I look at it like this here. Like, first of all, you all know that I believe that all is mine, all is mental. So I believe that physically, well, mentally, we can think ourselves out of these things, out of depression, out of the insomnia dependent upon where we are in the mental, right? Because hindsight is twenty twenty. I know this now because I've been through that state already and then when you get out of that state, you can look back at it and be like, oh, all I had to do was change in my mind because all is mental. We are all consciousness. Our mind, our subconscious mind is running the show in our physical reality. But I'm gonna jump into this and I'm gonna do the physical side because so, some people can't just jump there, you know, like just like for example, the people in church not being ugly with them, you know, they'll be like, I'm less than highly favored. But the subconscious mind be saying, No, no, you're not. That's why you're still going through, that's why you didn't get your blessing, like right? Because their mind is not there. You're they're speaking the word, they're saying an affirmation that they don't believe just yet. And so when you get to that place in your journey where you're saying affirmations that you don't believe, it's almost like you're fighting against, you're creating more resistance with your subconscious mind and you fighting against what is. Because you don't believe what is is going to change for you because you don't even believe that you're worthy. So the key to doing or changing an affirmation that you don't believe in right now is to ask yourself, because God never asks himself a question that he or she don't already know the answer to, is to ask yourself, how does that feeling feel? So for example, if I was saying an affirmation, because affirmations start off with I am, I am beautiful. If in my mind, I got a negative thought that said, uh, well, you don't have on makeup right now and you might not, you didn't think that last week when you wasn't wearing makeup, remember how you felt like, like you had to put something on your face? Well, if I get a thought like that, that's letting me know that my subconscious mind don't believe that I am beautiful. It does not believe that affirmation. So in order to master that feeling, then I would ask myself, show me what beauty looks like. Show me what being a cutie is. You know, I would ask myself those questions and then my subconscious mind would deliver me those feelings and I grab a hold to that feeling and then I milk that feeling of it instead of saying the I am. And I, I milk that feeling until I can think about that feeling when I say I am beautiful. I'll just jump and jink, think, think about that feeling that I created that my subconscious mind gave me a picture of because the subconscious mind already know these answers, right? But today we're going to talk about depression and so for many people that's going through depression they probably be trying to say affirmations that i am happy or all is well for me or things are working out for me and then your mind is saying no 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 it's not you depressed you could go to sleep last night what that was all about you hate yourself you keep thinking about old stuff that happened to you you keep saying why me right and so if you're in this state of being you got to ask yourself a question that'll make you feel better about yourself in that moment in time, right? You got to begin to ask yourself, show me what love feels like. Show me what happiness feels like. How does it feel to get a peaceful night of sleep? What does rest feel like? What does freedom feel like? What does financial gain or whatever it is that you're longing for that got you um, depressed. What does health and wellness feel like, right? So you got to ask yourself those feelings and milk the feelings of that. But here's another thing I want to talk about in physical reality that you can do when you are in that state of being. And this might make you, um, might be like I'm repeating what I've already said, but I really want to encourage you how important in the matrix now we're not talking about mind no more we're talking about physical in the matrix there's coding in the matrix for certain foods certain things that we eat certain things that we give our attention to there's coding to it until we trump the mind until we get over mastering the mind and know that all is mine and we could trump everything all of the codings in the matrix then you gotta deal with the matrix because your mind is just not up to par just yet and it will be you're remembering yourself 
But while you remember yourself and dealing with the coding in the matrix, you got to understand that what you're eating, what you're consuming as far as listening and soaking in, even on TikTok, all those things are playing a part in the depression. All of that's playing a part in the uh, insomnia. You see, my journey, my spiritual journey, unbeknownst to me, started when I started to change my diet. I didn't wake up and just, you know, be discover consciousness because of what other people may believe. It was just me yearning to get rid of a thyroid issue. It was just me learning or yearning to learn what health and wellness was outside of my family, what grandma brought down to my mama, what my mama brought down to me. Just wanting to discover exotic fruits and vegetables, wanting to be in a position where I can help my children and break this so-called generational curse which is really to me being stuck on stupid. Yeah? And I'm not talking about nobody. I'm talking about myself. Being stuck on stupid. The, the insanity thing, you know, rinsing and repeating, doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Because during my childhood life, my doctors never did a doctor ever ask me what I was eating. Never did anybody was concerned about my diet. Now, I would go back and forth to the doctor for all kinds of sicknesses, irritable bowel syndrome. Um, I had, I wore glasses at one point, you know, painful periods and all of these different things. But nobody said, well, what do you eat? How you die? Do you eat fruits and vegetables? Because I would have clearly told them, no, I steered away from those things. So going back to the coding of the matrix, and the reason why I'm telling you this here is because your gut and your brain are intertwined. And so this is why we're having those gut feelings. This is why insomnia is so prevalent. This is why depression is so prevalent because oftentimes, according to the coding in the matrix, you're eating low frequency food. You or we sometimes get to a point where we have parasites inside of us and nobody in the family know how to get rid of them things. So everybody just say, oh no, grandma had that. Oh yeah, you gotta get your leg amputated too. Yeah, grandma had to go through that. Yeah, it's all right. And we accept these things as if they're supposed to be normal. But according to the codes in the, of the matrix, no, there's a way to, to cheat that or beat that, so to speak. But nobody in the family wants to dare to do or be different. That That's what the problem really be, like, right? And so for me, I dare to be different. I dare to be different and I cleaned up my diet and I dare to leave something behind, some type of knowledge of health and wellness behind for my children. And so one day, lo and behold, I'm on a health conscious journey trying to be healthier. And then I get mental clarity one day and I'm like, oh my gosh, what is this? I'm retaining this information. I have energy now. I sleep well now. Oh, my bowel now is moving. I'm no longer full of SHIT. Because here's the thing about the parasites and stuff that's inside of the coding of the matrix. This is not a spiritual video all the way. I'm talking physical and spiritual, but we got to go here to help people and meet people where they are. Here's the thing about this so-called parasite and this bacteria and viruses and all of these things, so to speak. They reproduce. Yeah. Like they have like life cycles. They leave, they, they, they lay eggs. They have this little larva that they leave behind, like, right? So just eating lettuce for day one, that, it, that ain't gonna really do nothing. Drinking more water, mm, that really ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah. So we got to get to a place where we're educated at a deeper level how to get past the lipid coating of the virus to penetrate and kill the parasite and not only killing the parasite, but the larva and the eggs that turn over, you know, the fecal matter that they're going to leave, even, even their secretions when you, when you take certain herbs and try to kill them, the secretions, the extra layers of larva that's going, that they're going to leave behind. So nobody don't want to talk about that part, that part. And you know, sometimes like when I'm selling my detox, my sustained detox, a lot of people, this is how you know, and no judgment here. This is just how you know where people are in a journey. A lot of people would say, no, I'm not ready for that right now. I don't want to do that right now because I'm afraid of what's going to come out. So just think about that though. As far as insomnia and depression is concerned, right? Right. If you have a host of parasites and in, in, in eggs and larva and in, in, in fungus and virus inside of you that you're afraid to come out, 
And let's think about that. Let's think about the millions or maybe hundreds of thousands that might be there multiplying now. If they take over of the host, that ends the life of the host. That that decreases the host's frequency. And you know, when we flatline on our frequency, we no longer hear in the physical reality, right? So it will benefit us collectively if we have open minds during moments like that in our in our life where we realize wait something is kind of like taking over the host here i'm not myself here i am depressed i am tired of playing this particular character or all of these characters and i just want to be i want to be able to come out and express myself i just want my energy back think about that what took your energy away from you <laughs> think about that just and, and it's really, it really becomes hard to think when you are depressed. It really becomes hard to think when you have insomnia or ADD and, 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 and your mind is playing tricks on you. It really becomes hard to think because you probably only have a three second attention span at this point in time. You see, but you are the one that really need to pay attention the most. You're the one that really needs to deeply follow these codings in the in the matrix the most, manipulate the energy, use your cheat code to increase your frequency based upon the fruits and the herbs and the nuts and the seeds and, and all of the things, the life force things that are there for you to sustain you and, get, and help you get your life force back. You're the ones who I'm really talking to here. So in the beginning for me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to discuss some of the herbs that I really think in the beginning is really, really helpful for this here in the physical reality. But I also want you to, to really pay attention to the fact that, oh, it's going to be mine at the end of the day. So these type of people being at a low frequency, they probably in their doubting season, right? So they're do probably doubting that herb, something as simple as an herb that the, the creator, God, source energy, your ancestors or whatever you reverence, left here in nature is a thing that's going to be for the healing of their body. So they rather not go over there. They rather go to pay the man in the white coat for something that they created, a synthetic that they created that probably have some of the herbs, but also some toxic ingredients inside of it that's gonna kinda like mess with the liver, that's gonna kinda like put strain on the kidney at the same time, when they could just go to the source. When they could just go to the source, but a lot of people don't know what the source is, like, right? So, for me, in the beginning, my source, and I'm, I'm gonna start, and I say this often, I'm gonna start here, but I'm gonna tell y'all some new things that I wanna share with you. I start here often with coconut oil. I start with coconut oil because coconut oil is the one that's gonna, you know how like a doctor will tell you that, oh, you got a virus? Well, it's gonna have to run its course, right? So if the virus has to run its course, the doctor not gonna really give you anything for it. Why is that? God always asks why. Because these viruses that live inside of us, they have a lipid coating around them. It's almost like a barrier around them. Yeah, that they, they kind of like protect themselves while they're inside of us, kind of like taking over the host, kind of like wilding out, kind of making us tired, making us depressed, making us have insomnia, making us have ear to bowel syndrome while they wilding out and multiplying inside of us. And I'm not coming from a place of fear here. I want to educate everybody so we can be on the same page with, with health and wellness. Because I really, to be honest with you, before I continue, I really don't favor talking about this here anymore. Even though I sell detoxes, even though I've been to this place, because I understand the laws of this universe. And what you give your attention to, it creates more and more and more. So I'm really going to just talk about this and then my next couple of videos, I ain't going to be talking about this here because of what I know. So when you know that how powerful your mind and your tongue, your spoken word and your feelings are, you, you, that's some conversations you ain't gonna have no more. But I'm doing this for my reflections because there's somebody real close to me that really needs to hear this here. So anyway, back to what I was saying about the lipid coating viruses, right? So the viruses and you know, the parasites, they have lipid coatings around them. 
And so anytime it has a lipid coating around him, that means when you take your um, Tylenol, it ain't penetrating to no virus and no, you know, no parasite. When you taking your little, eating your little salad, I'm sorry, it, it'll eat your salad up too and you'll still be hungry. You know, this is how this thing works because it has the coating where it's being protected, but it's still draining our life force if we have these things at a large amount inside of us, like, right? So the coconut oil is going to be the first thing that I'm going to talk about. And coconut oil, the reason why that is my go-to thing to tell people when they have parasites is simply because it's going to break through that lipid coating of that, that barrier that the parasite has on top of it, right? And so during my journey, I found out about this here. And so this is how I knew. And, and I did this here research when I was really visiting um, herbal gardens right around the time, right before I published my book. He who has the E11 here, and it talked about health and wellness, a lot of chapters in my book. And so during this time, when I was consuming these things, it's like I was on a spiritual journey and every herb and everything that I consumed, it was like, as soon as I put it on my tongue, I knew whether it was GMO or non-GMO because of the way that it electrified my body, the signal that it sent to my body because I was depleted at this point. I was really on low frequency, so my, my sensors was really, really high as far as my taste buds was concerned immediately. So when I first consumed the coconut oil, I'm talking about cold press, extra virgin, unrefined coconut oil. When I first consumed it, it gave me a soothing feeling in my esophagus going down my stomach because I was, at this point, I had a lot of inflammation, like, right? You get a lot of inflammation when you have, like, a lot of parasites gnawing on the walls of your intestines and stuff, right? And it soothed my body almost like a fire was just going out, and it calmed me and relaxed me. This is how you know when you're inflamed. And some of us are inflamed and don't even realize it. We're so busy, we on a stress mode where we're so busy being inflamed that we don't really realize that we on that level until the fire is going out, like, right? So, and what was happening when I was consuming that spoon of coconut oil was that my inflammation level was going down, right? I was getting now something that I needed more than anything, my amino acids, right? The building block of my um my muscles and all right i was getting something that was antifungal antiparasitic antiviral antimicrobial antibacterial just by consuming one spoon of coconut oil and so the coconut oil started sort of help, helping me so much that i was like like in the beginning of my journey just downing coconut oil like right so that was my first thing and i'm sharing all my secrets here this is in my um my book but i want y'all to know this here this is, there's so many things in the book, but I want y'all to know the key things, like, right? And so, if you have inflammation, and that's pretty much any sickness or disease or disharmony going on in your body, if you have inflammation, that's where, that's where your pr problematic point is, pretty much. So, for me, I had the thyroid issue, so, of course, my esophagus, my, my throat was feeling a sense of calming in that particular area, like, right? And so with thyroid issues, you know, you get really tired, you get this mental fatigue and stuff, and you just kind of like want to sleep all the time. But because I was such at a high level of inflammation, when I would take the coconut oil, it soothed me so much that it kind of like put me to sleep. So for those with insomnia, I'm recommending, and depression, I'm recommending the coconut oil. I'm recommending that to you because most often the leading cause that when you get down to all of these sicknesses and disease, yeah, there's information, but there's something gnawing at you, gnawing at your weaker point. And how did it get there? If we go into, we're not talking spiritual in this video right now, we own physical plane. If we go into the physical plane in the matrix, we realize it got there because we put it in there. We consumed it. With a fork in the physical. Now we also put it there in the mental because we were worried. And, I mean, in the spiritual and mental because we were worried. We we was holding on to hate and all that. And I understand that, but that's how it started. We in the physical. We don't know that yet because our mind has not evolved. We don't realize that all is mine just yet. But I'm trying to help you in this video with your with your physical. And so when we get your physical or get your gut which is connected to your mind back in alignment, then you're gonna realize, oh, all of this here was mine. And then I create my own reality. 
but everybody not there yet. So anyway, the coconut oil was, was actually said on my counter here. This is, this is, I put it in this little container because this is what I use. And just a spoon, and I don't even take this every day no more. I have a big old tub of extra virgin coconut oil, but I take it here and there. But in the beginning, that was what I consumed every day. And then I learned about herbs. I learned about herbs because I was at the garden center all the time selling my book and picking herbs and talking to the trees. And I just wanted to be closer to life. I wanted to learn how to ground myself because I was also working on my root chakra at the same time. I was dealing with my guru at the time and he was a healer. And so I would listen to him as he consulted and did spiritual work on other people. I just wanted to soak up everything in that was spiritual for my becoming stage. And so then I began to put together, and this here is um, available on my website. It's called the Alchemist Oil. I did a TikTok video on this. This is my personal bottle. If you could see, did you just have a little bit up in here? That is a combination of, of um, oregano and oregano and um, clove oil that I personally made myself. And so being that I was working on the, at the gardens, I educated myself on the herbs. And I wasn't the type, you know, how they have these, these GMOs. I didn't want to hear or see nothing that was GMO. I wanted to go to the real powerful ones, the really, really, you know, powerful ones that was for... And I look at it as if it was for people that needed they consumed at a deeper level. If you know what I mean when I say that. Because some people, they get nutrients from things that are GMO. But other people, because we are like, our like in the matrix, our coding is so older, we need real stuff. If you know what I mean when I say that. So I went to the real powerful things. And that would be the clove oil. That would be the oregano. And the reason why I went for clove, because I was doing research and I realized that clove was the world's most powerful antioxidant. Right? So I wanted to consume that. If, if, if I was going to consume something that was going to heal me, let's go for the powerful thing. Let's go for the coconut oil that'll break through the barrier of the parasite if I have any. Like, right? Because at this point, I'm trying to heal my thyroid. And so... I went to um, the um, coconut oil and I'll consume a spoon of coconut oil each day. I think I was consuming maybe about two or three at, uh, spoons back then at a the time of coconut oil at a, a day. I mean, every day. And so then the next thing that I was stumbled on would be the clove and the oregano. And not just the regular kind from the grocery store. I'm talking about really, really potent uh, oregano oil that you will feel a burning and tingling sensation in your tongue like right I'm talking about soaking clove oil for months so that you can really in whatever carrier oil of choice that you use that you can really get the benefits because see clove oil is the oil of choice that they used to use in dentistry for numbing for pain and for parasites so now you got coconut oil helping you with the parasites. You got the clove and the oregano oil, and they also help with parasites, fungus, bacterial, um, viruses, all at the same time. So you, so for me, at that time, I had three things fighting for me, giving me life force, like right, tearing down the barrier of any type of sickness or disease or host that was inside of me, destroying it. And oh, guess what happened? the person with the irritable syndrome started to use the bathroom. You see, and so, and so this was me <laughs> getting to a point in my life where I even told my doctor at this point, I was like, lady, I'm not about to try no other medicine. I'm not about to, you're not about to, I'm not about to be your little lab rat up in here. And so she, she was like, so what are you do, gonna do? I was like, I don't know. I don't know, but I know I'm not about to do what you're telling me to do. Cause just, this, this just didn't seem right. Because I was tired of doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. Tired of going to Popeye's, getting a two-piece spicy white with mashed potatoes and a jalapeno pepper, but then complaining. Tired of eating a steak and potato, but then wondering why I am so tired and I feel so heavy. It was starting to register to me that diet does play a part in the physical reality. When I was at my lower self, yes, it did. Oh yeah, it did. And so... That was the next thing that I found out that was really, really powerful. So we went from the coconut, we went to the clove, we went to the um, oregano oil. And this amethyst oil that I'm talking about is available on my website if you need help with that. You can get um, coconut oil anywhere, just as long as it's organic, unrefined, cold-pressed 
an extrovert and you need all four. You don't want no knockoff cheap stuff. Don't 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 cheat yourself with this here if you're gonna go this route for your health and wellness. And so then I begin to realize that wait, hold up. I was depressed. I had sleep issues because my body was in a state of dis-ease in the physical reality. It was calling out for me to dare to do or experience something different. And so I begin to I begin to take that. I begin to keep on doing research with, with different herbs. And as far as those people who are depressed, there's an herb called holy basil. I ain't talking about the GMO kind that's laced with other things. I'm talking about the actual plant, the leaves of holy basil is an antidepressant. If you would go to like a, um, a farmer's market and get it, if you would go to like an Asian market and get it, I feel, or better yet, the best place to get it is in your own garden. I'm planting some. I feel like it is so much more powerful when you do it yourself because you don't have to worry about the pesticides and all the different things that they spray on it. But you can just eat the leaves. If you, instead of taking antidepressant pills, you can get you some plants of holy basil and eat the leaves of it and that can be your antidepressant. A natural antidepressant. And is if... If you're doing this in combination to destroying, because the key root of this here is you to let another host take over, uh, uh, let another parasite take over and is trying to take over the host. If you do holy basil in conjunction with getting past that lipid coating of that virus, getting past the lipid coating of the virus and you have your clove and your oregano, now you're killing the parasites. Now you're killing the larva. Now you're killing the worms and their eggs and everything that they've secreted when, when they got into shock when that particular barrier coated, that lip and coated came off of them. You're killing all of that. And this will do you no justice if you do this for three days. That's another thing I want to share with you. Ain't no detox in the world. Gonna detox you. Let's say, for example, you're 40 years old and you think you, okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a detox. Well, how long are you gonna detox this? Oh, three days. You're not de detoxing. Mm -mm. You're probably not even touching the surface of anything for three days. A real detox, a real detox where you're really doing something has to be at least 30 days. Or you're just playing around. It has to be. And now, this is, this is for people that's ready to get real with their health. Because in the physical reality, we have, we have help with the herbs, yeah, and the fruits and the vegetables, and the nuts and the seeds for the healing and the, of the nation. Yeah, we have help, but a lot of us be so busy on low frequency that we're still stumbling upon doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results and not even looking at the herbs. Even the church people, they got this really, really, oh, a lot of times you get in, in conjunction with that information that builds up because we have some parasite or something gnawing at us. A lot of times we have this thing called lactic acid build up. And it's kind of like information, you know, like when you go into working out or whatever, you know, your muscles and your body get so sore. And sometimes our body just be lactic acid built up so much that we don't even realize it. We don't realize it. You know them people that be walking around and, you know, one arm is higher than the other and, you know, they got the hump back and all this and that. Yeah, they got a lot of inflammation, lactic acid buildup. They lack in magnesium. All of these things you could, you could, if you know about the herbs and the, and the, and the deficiencies of of health and wellness, you could look at a person and really see what they're deficient in. Yeah, it's that simple. It's that easy. And then people, some people suffering, and they don't have to. And so that's why I often talk about key limes a lot because it kills or destroys that lactic acid buildup, and it also helps to regulate those kidneys. See, we really need to be able to filter our kidneys. It's so important that we're able to filter our kidneys and, and also release that load of our lymphatic system because if you think about it, if your blood is toxic and your lymphatic system is supposed to be cleaning up the toxins a little bit too much, then you're gonna have leaky bowels, I mean, leaky gut syndrome, and it's gonna be, poor. it's leaky gut the syndrome, it's just that, it's like a gut that's kinda leaking into the walls of the intestines, and it's leaking so much, that now the kidneys got a strain on it. 
the kidneys got a strain because everything leaking and it's trying to filter and it's like, wait, hold up, they got a hole up in here, something leaking, help me out. But you got, you can't help it out unless it has something like key limes that work as a diuretic. Something like key limes that'll kill those parasites and alkalize the body because the body's so acidic and so much, so much corrosion and stuff is happening now. Everything is being torn down. Oh, because nobody's educating themselves about health and wellness. And even if they're educating themselves, they, oh, yeah, I know, yeah, I be putting lime up in my water once a month. Even if they educate themselves, they, they doing it, and they're doing it at a low-grade level when they're 40, 50, 60 years old, when they should be doing it and making it a lifestyle. Doing it and passing it on to the children so that we won't have diabetics that's running in the family. We won't have people that just got amputated legs that's running in the family. That we don't have sickness and diseases that the doctor know if y'all don't change nothing, it's going to run in the family. So when you get to the doctor's office, when they're really asking you, well, do you have anybody that da-da-da-da? Well, we're, what they're really saying is, Does, did grandma do this here thing? Because if grandma did it, maybe grandma passed it down to your mama, so maybe you're going to be like that too. Because most often than not, people in the generations don't, don't, they don't dare do nothing different. Uh-uh, that's grandma met recipe. <laughs> we got to carry that out. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sharing this with you all because this is something heartfelt to me that I share with my children. That I share with everybody that I come in contact with. Oftentimes, we are putting too much strain on our physical body and we are not paying attention to what the matrix coding is to electrify our body again. And in the physical, we can not, we can bypass rather feeling the sickness and disease all the time if we're doing right by the body. And then you can get into the mind. Then you can gain consciousness. Because for me, it was like a light went off and I was retaining information. I was more energetic and it just gave me a zest for life. I remember there were weekends where I would sleep in. That's how tired I used to be. Like, I, you wouldn't see me on the weekend. There were times when I would get off from work and I would, I kept this to myself because y'all know I'm an introvert. But I would get into my garage and I would shut the door and thank God that I made it home and that I was alive. And I would be gasping for air because my body was so fatigued with this so-called thyroid issue that no, I do not have anymore today because I changed my diet, I changed my thoughts. But I remember it like it was yesterday. I'm sitting in that darn, I had a, a SUV a expedition. I would sit there in my expedition and I would just be like, thank God. I made it home because I was so weak and I was so tired and I was so mentally fogged that I didn't think I was going to make it. There were moments at night that I would kiss my children goodnight thinking that I wasn't going to wake up the next day. I'm talking dog is tired. I'm talking about inflammation from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet because I knew nothing about health and wellness. And this is why I... <laughs> This is why it's my passion. This is why I sell what I sell on my website. This is why I do consultations because I can help people both physically and mentally or the spiritual aspect of things. But going to this physical, I need you to understand that there are things out there for you. God or your ancestors or whatever you call it didn't leave you with no thing. You just not exploring the right thing just yet. But maybe this video will help you because asking you shall receive. I want to share another thing that really helps with inflammation, which helps with your mental also, walnuts. That's another one. That helps with your brain fog, right? That helps your brain, that helps you develop brain health. Like, so if you had like some type of parasites knowing that you got, remember I said the gut and the brain are intertwined. So if you have parasites here, you got parasites up here. So walnuts is really beneficial if you're a nut eater or liker. Another thing is tart cherry juice, organic tart cherry juice. Now I gotta show you, tell you something. When you buy cherry juice, most often than not, the one I'm talking about gonna be the most expensive one. It's really, really expensive. But how you know it's the right kind is it's gonna be tart 
cherry juice and you're going to turn it around and you're going to look at the ingredients and it's going to tell you 100 percent cherry nothing else we don't need a water in there we don't need no sugar in there we don't need nothing else but cherry juice if you can't find the cherry juice get you some seeded organic cherries they're expensive too sometimes but the reason why i'm recommending that is because for those who have insomnia and cannot sleep I would recommend you get the liquid versus the actual organic cherry because the liquid you will be able to consume more in one setting so you could be able to just drink it down in a cup. With the cherries, you could be biting, spitting out seeds and all of that and you might probably don't get or consume enough. Either way, you can't go wrong with cherries. For insomnia, cherries is going to help you go to bed at night. Yeah. It's going to relax you. It is a pain reliever. All right? It helps you secrete melatonin. That's the, the sleep hormone at night, you know, to help you relax your body. And being that if you have some kind of inflammation or dis-ease, it's going to help you with that too. It's going to help tackle those parasites. That's another thing that'll help you with parasites. Cherry juice or cherries. I'm talking organic. I ain't talking about the cheap kind. I ain't talking about the kind that you put on a ham for Thanksgiving, you know, that don't have a seed in it, that's in the little jar. Nope, that's not real. That's not real. That's not what I'm talking about. But cherries, that's another thing. And so that's physical. That's physical. So we talked about coconut oil. We talked about clove. We talked about oregano. We talked about holy basil. If you, have anti, if you are need an anti, a natural antidepressant, buy you some little plants of holy basil and just eat them leaves. And you're going to feel so much better. And you know, it'll be so good if you could do these things like this here at nighttime. So you could really get a good quality of sleep. So you really could, you know, really be able to sit still in the bed and feel your body. Oftentimes, if you pay more attention to your body, you'll know what frequency you're on. You'll know where you are with your health and wellness too. Because your body will send you indicators. If you lay down when you put something on your tongue or sit down and close your eyes. You'll be able to tell because you are infinite intelligence. You'll be able to, should be able to tell rather if that's a GMO or non-GMO. If it's working for you or against you. And so if it's working against you, you should know. Look, I'm going to lay off that for a little bit. Because my mind ain't up to par. Because I should be in a state of being where I can touch. Or nothing shall by any means harm me. Right? But when we're not there just yet, we get the signal. We get the signal that, oh, this, this, this taxing on me. I got to leave that alone. And so listening to your body. And a lot of people, it coincides together. The people that don't listen to their body are the same type of people that don't listen to their internal GPS or their higher self. They've been not listening. This is not the first incident where they don't listen. So you start not listening to your body. And so your spiritual essence or your higher self been telling you, how about you try this? Come on this way. How about you see this? And you don't hear that little still voice in your mind. You don't hear that because you're not listening. So that's a good exercise to do. And that's what I used to do in the beginning. I would listen to my body. I would lay down. I would I would sit down or lay down because I always was tired at that point in my life. And I would just sit there and I would, I would put something to my tongue. And I will see what it do. See how it felt. If it began to release or relieve me, it almost felt like some things that were so, so powerful, like that ginger, like that uh, coconut oil, the coconut water, the clove, and, and oregano. When I would take those things, you know, holy basil, when I would take those things, it was almost like I was standing underneath a shower, like something was just dripping, like showering me, relaxing me, calming my body. You feel that too if you begin to listen. You at this point right now should know, you should be so in tune to your body till you know when your bowel is going through the large and small intestines and how many minutes it's going to take you before you have to go back to the restroom. That's how tuned we should be in our body. Yeah, that's how in tune we should be and could be in our body if we listen though. And a lot of us are hard heads. And grandma used to tell me a hard head make us all face. Because the, that ass going to get soft after you keep on ignoring how you feel. Because guess what? Whether we're talking about the physical reality or we're talking about mentalism in the spiritual reality, how you feel, it really matters. Yeah, it does. 
It really does. And so your body, your body, your physical just get tired of the, the role you playing, tired of you going to the office and you know your stomach hurt and you acting like you got everything covered, tired of you walking around with the stresses of the world on your shoulder and you acting like your shoulders are straight and you know your spine is crooked. All these things come because you tired. And they come and they come as dis-ease and disharmony because you tired. <laughs> and I'm just trying to help you not be so tired. Because you, you, your energy, you're supposed to be expanding. You're supposed to be bouncing up against the wall. There are some young people that I know <laughs> that I could run circles around because they don't have life force. They don't have energy. And how are you going to be energy and you don't have it for yourself? How you gonna be able to send your energy? This also gonna help you with your manifestation. How you gonna send a signal out when you can't even get in a place where you have a three plus attention span? What kind of signal you gonna send? So it's really important that we get back to the basic and learn the foundation of it all in the physical because your spiritual journey it's, 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 it's really kind of rough. And, and I'm talking about my experience. I'm not trying to give you limited thoughts. because. But if your thoughts are powerful than this, you go for it, baby. Because you, you were better than me at that moment. I'm not trying to create a limited belief in you. But for me, I was so mentally, physically... I mean, I'm also physically um, tired or mentally drained, so to speak. That I, the spiritual, I wasn't worried about being no conscious. I wasn't worried about no dreaming and astral projection and traveling when I, my thyroid was bothering me. So for those of you that are experienced this ease and disharmony, I know what you're going through. And I, I wasn't even going to church at that time. <laughs> and I was still partially in religion. I know. Don't tell me nothing about no Jesus. Don't, don't tell me nothing about that. I'm just trying to make it to be able to get up in a garage this afternoon when I get off from work and do something to throw on the stove for my children to eat so I could go to bed. And so we get to that place, that rut, and there's things out there that could help you. I have products on my website, and I promise you this ain't to sell. I don't be doing no ads like that. But I have products on my website that will help you. Sustained detox is one of them. It's for 30 days, though. you got to follow it through. It is bitter herbs. So these bitter herbs that I put together, these are herbs that I use today, every six months to this day. But this is something in the foundation of my journey that saved my life, though. This is why I do what I do. And I and energetically, I draw people to, to me. I don't do ads, if y'all haven't noticed. Energetically, I just draw the people, the right people, at the right season to me. The people that are serious about their journey, not the ones that's going to do something for two days and be like, oh, yeah, I, I, I detoxed. I'm done. No. I'm talking about the ones that's really trying to not only master this physical, but also because some of, most of these herbs, well, all of the ones that I just called out, they go hand in hand with your, your head or your third eye, so to speak. So as within, <laughs> so without. As above, so below. So when you begin to clean up this here with the detoxing herbs that I'm talking about that I sell on my website, you also go clean up this here. And then your first eye, your third eye, whatever you call it, It'll be open again. You'll get that mental clarity and that ability to remain focused during meditation, mindfulness, and be able to draw things to you quicker and better and, 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 and more energetic because you have your life force back now. You have it back. <laughs> you have the power to resurrect yourself is what I'm saying. So in the details, I want to share what that is all about. Those are like seven herbs, and all of them are going to be bitter. You see, the bitter the herb, the more potent it is for like handling things like your liver and your kidney, which oftentimes get really, really stagnated, right? And so when your liver begins to detox, and simultaneously, you're, it's most often than not the same type of herb that will benefit you with your kidney detoxing, you're releasing a large amount of parasites then, right, right? And so it's not the type of detox that's going to have you using the bathroom on yourself at any given time, running down your leg kind. It's the kind that 
you know you have to go to the restroom and then after you come from the restroom it feels like you've lost maybe 10 15 pounds because old toxic fecal matter that's been on the walls of your large and small intestines in your stomach and been hidden in your liver because your body do be robbing Peter to pay Paul and stuffing things here and fat deposits and over there just to save your life. But it's the kind of detox that's going to get those things out that it hid in the fat deposits and release that. And so when you release that thing that's been gnawing or, or that cluster of parasites that's been really gnawing at you for such a long time, when you heal that, that's how you get the energy back. Because sometimes, even in our so-called not so healthy or not powerful food, we'll have a trace amount of magnesium. We'll have a trace amount of, of zinc or, or iron or whatever, but it's not getting to us because if we have the parasites, it's soaking it up first. So when we really detox with things like the sustained detox, the sarsaparilla, the iron in that sarsaparilla is off the chart and that's the very thing that most often than not we be needing i needed it at that time iron which helps to deliver oxygen to the body to through the blood right and so it activates the body right we need things we need to educate ourselves on how to get these things we need to know about even just our skin being an organ and taking bath with with dead sea salts and magnesium chloride so, so just in case we have too much going on, we have leaky um, gut syndrome, it can still penetrate in our skin. Like, right? I also available on my website a transformation course where I go through grocery stores. And I, when I first started my journey, I went through grocery stores. I taught about organic things. I taught about the fruits and vegetables. I taught about malt dextrin, just ingredients in some of our foods that we need to lay off for, for an appointed time, at least, or for a lifetime. I say an appointed time because once you get to a certain place in life, you're going to realize that your mind, your mind is more powerful than this. I promise you. This is physical I'm talking about, but if you renew your mind, nothing shall by any means harm you. But you don't learn that until after you go through this here state of being. You gotta go through the physical first. You gotta manipulate the energy in the matrix first, and then you see it. Hindsight is always 2020. And so when I see people on TikTok or other platforms and they just be like, well, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta eat like this, you gotta eat. Really, guess what? All this God at the end of the day. But you don't find out that later until you first were on a physical plane and your mind a little too, too weak or too low frequency to jump that high to realize that I could just change just by changing my thoughts. Because the church people try to do that and some of them fall short. And so I wouldn't ask people in the physical reality to say, oh no, stop taking your pill. You don't need to take that pill. All is mine. Just think that you're healed. Because a lot of people mental ain't there. But here's the thing, the way you get to fixing that mental, you manipulate the energy with things outside of you that have a higher frequency than you do when you're sick, when you are depressed, when you have insomnia. insomnia. You go to the tree which knows how to sit there and surrender and receive. The tree, the root, the herb, which has no resistance, but you got resistance when you on low frequency. You wobbling when you on low frequency, so you're just manipulating the energy. You're pouring the energy from that source. You digesting that energy. This goes back to the saying that energy is not created or destroyed. It's simply transformed. So you take that energy from it, consume it in its live state of being, and it's going to bring life to you. And then when you get to a frequency where you are back, at high frequency of life and no longer have insomnia and depression and you no longer maybe sleeping all day or whatever it is that you were tripping about on low frequency then you are the life force and then you turn around and you help somebody else it's supposed to be a chain reaction we go through things to be in a position to help other people and they're becoming stage and that's what I'm here for I hope, I'm hopeful that you all are getting this. Let me look at these comments and, uh-oh, let's see. Let me see. Good evening. Hey, brown sugar. Hey, hey, hey. Let's see. 
I don't like coconut oil, but I'm gonna try the clove and oregano. Oh yeah, yeah. A lot of people say that about coconut oil, but coconut oil is powerful. But yeah, the oregano, the oregano oil in the um, clove is powerful too. You feel that mean sensation on your tongue, and so you gotta dilute it. It will burn like in, on your tongue, so you gotta dilute it with a carrier oil and that's why I do mine with the coconut oil because it's like the carrier oil so it won't tingle so much in your mouth and then you drink something afterwards. So since you don't like coconut oil, dilute it with maybe an extra virgin olive oil or an avocado oil, you know, something real. Don't dilute it, no, no peanut oil. Peanut oil is not good for us. Let me call out some oils that ain't good for us. Sunflower oil, please. Don't do it to the family. Peanut oil, no, 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 no and canola oil please don't do it to your family it's very toxic don't do it to your family just don't do it the oils of choice is going to be um coconut oil olive oil or avocado oil those are the only three that crystal please don't do the crystal no more if y'all still do that please don't save the somebody got to save the family Somebody got to save the family from those toxic oils that run rancid inside of you. And when the oil runs rancid inside of you, it becomes really toxic. It's no benefit to it no more. And so even with the coconut oil and the olive oil, they have low heating point. Hence, they are virgin oils. Virgin oils, you heat them up at a temp, maybe over about 200. Now it's running rancid. So the only oil of choice to cook with would be the avocado oil because it can go up to 500 degrees in the oven being cooked with and it's not going to run rancid but those are the only three good oils the rest of them oils please somebody save the family <laughs> okay now i'm waiting waiting on weight loss yeah the weight loss issue in our community really stems from a lot of that storage you know the potatoes the rices and stuff like that it don't necessarily be that much of the the meat per se it be the starches the bread the pasta those things but if you can get rid of those starches which really are not beneficial for us at all either or lessen the amount or quantity because when i first sold it out that's what i did i took back some of the meat and i added more vegetables every time i took something away i added something healthy when i took away going fast food i learned how to make vegan burgers when i took away soft drinks i learned how to make key lime aid and have that available for my family you don't want to deprive yourself because that's the recipe for you giving up and you just throwing in the towel and going back to you know the way you used to do because you're going to be familiar with that for me i was on a journey where i was making this here my lifestyle so i got rid of at one point all of the meat all of the potato chips and you know the cereal and everything the cold drinks no sugar i just cold turkey got rid of all of it because at that point in my life i just wanted to live and i felt like okay i gotta do something to save my life and i just saved my life to teach my children something different because that's all they knew they only knew what mama was doing for them pork chops and smothered potatoes and crawfish and turkey necks and you know chit well we, i ain't never cooked no chicken wings i ain't even gonna say that red beans and rice and things like that popeyes you know and i wanted to teach them something different but everybody's not there where they can go tur cold turkey but that's what i did <laughs> that's what i did hi ananaki thank you for being here preach hey Pooh. <laughs> poo from ga <laughs> that's a cool name thank you for being here hello mega woman thank you thank you your hair is cute oh thank you thank you thank you all right cool well i just wanted to go through them right quick let me see what this is at the bottom Wonderful gems. Hey, P. Rasan. Thank you for being here. Hey, Dion. Thank you. Hey, Sharon. In the Caribbean, they call it bitters. Yeah, yeah, the bitter herbs. The bitters. The bitters are the most powerful ones. And so another bitter. Oh, I'm glad you said that. Dandelion. And you probably could get this one here from a Whole Foods store or Sprouts. Dandelion. You probably have some in your backyard, to be honest with you, because they have it growing out here plentiful. And every time I see it, I pull it up and I just eat it. It's bitter, but I'm used to bitter stuff because like I say, my sustained detox is really, really bitter. And I, I'm past tasting and you know, eating things just because, oh, it's delicious and the sweetness and that and the dirt. I eat because I know the benefit of certain things and dandelion is another one. 
dandelion, burdock, yellow dock, sarsaparilla. Those are really, really bitter herbs. But I tell you one thing, they will clean out that blood, they will clean out that liver. And so when you have bitter herbs like that, you could, a trick to consuming them will be consuming, consuming them with like melon, like I cut up honeydew melon, if you're consuming them in powder form, in a raw form. I'll cut up honeydew melon and I'll consume it in powder raw form and eat my honeydew melon at the same time. So that way I'm swallowing something and I have a different taste and it can go down easier and faster and then you drink water after it. Or you can go to a Sprouts or Whole Foods store or maybe on Amazon and you can get the empty gel capsules where you can put inside of there the bitter herb in powder form in the capsule. Like my Sustain Detox, that's something that I recommend people doing. You put the powder of the Sustain Detox in the gel capsule and make your own little capsule. That way you ain't gagging at the mouth or whatever. Or another way you could do it is putting like citrus a citrus drink like or orange juice or maybe like maybe your smoothie but if you're doing it in those type of drinks i would say only put this here much of um your drink you know in the cup and put the bitter herbs in it that way you don't have to have so much of the bitter drink that you're trying to get down and then chase it with the rest of your drink without none of the powder or the bitter inside of it so you don't want to mess up your whole smoothie is what I'm saying. Or your whole cup of orange juice because it's just nasty. And you want less nasty juice in your mouth at one time. But whatever the trick is, it's mind over matter. Those bitter herbs, if you sit with yourself and, and consume a, a dandelion, a, um, a burdock root, a yellow dog, um, sarsaparilla, any of those bitter herbs, you consume that. You will feel, if you're real toxic, you will feel the release from your liver. You will feel it and chasing it with maybe some um, key lime because and also another importance of the key lime, I, went, I was talking about the lactic acid buildup is because it's going to burst through. Just like the bitter herbs, it's going to burst through anything that's clogged. For those that don't go to the restroom, so to speak, it'll burst through and allow that bowel to be passed and moved too, right? It'll burst through the liver and allowing that um, gallbladder duct to release, right? right? So the bowel then can flow. It'll burst through them clogged or, or um, overstimulated kidneys and allowing those toxins to even be released in the urine as well. So it's really important that you kind of like add the Either the key lime, if you don't like the coconut oil, do the key lime. Because one or the other is going to allow the manipulation of getting through the lipid coating of the parasite or getting through that barrier or bursting through the gallbladder ducts to allow a release. You need to be able to release <laughs> and clean up them organs, clean up them cells. Yeah, wonderful gems. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, this... So on time, I'm healing my, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot about that one. I'm sorry about that. And grapeseed oil, grapeseed oil. That's another one. I forgot about it. I haven't used grapeseed oil in a while, but yeah, that's another good one. She said she's healing her um, thyroid now. And so what else? I, I told you about that one, the uh, iodine, the iodine supplement for the thyroid. That really, really helps me too. And so I got that from my, um, my seat cap and I put that in my food every now and then. But like I said, now, now I'm, I, I don't even have to do that every day like I used to. And I I got tested. I always get tested on my annual um, executive wellness visits. And I have no health issues. And it's because I found out the things in the matrix that work for my body. Yeah. I delivered myself from that state of being of dis-ease, of depression. And so I, I put on here the name of this video was about depression and insomnia, right? So... You no longer, once you get clear in here and here, you're no longer depressed. Because it's gonna come a moment when that light switch go off where you just you won't want to just go outside. You ain't gonna wanna be up in the room no more where it's dark at and you won't wanna be bothered and they getting on my nerves. And see a lot of people on TikTok when they be, you know, talking about, you know, they want to show to themselves, you know, I got to protect my energy kind of thing. That really just be a lot of people being depressed and not liking themselves, not knowing themselves, not setting, not being able to really set with themselves just yet. Because if you sit with yourself, you understand that everybody outside of yourself is, is you too. <laughs> You'll like yourself 
And you wouldn't be trying to protect yourself from this energy and this energy because all is God, all is you experiencing itself. And so you're not going to want to just be depressed and just lay down and just let life and just let time just pass you by. No, you're going to want to do something again because you're, you're going to be electrified again. You're going to be finding things to do, just finding things to do. It's cool to be. I like to be. I like to be outside and just watch hummingbird. I like to be when I'm working out. I like to be when I'm preparing my, my, my uh, preparations for all of my orders. I like to be. But I also now in my in my life, I like to do, I like to find something to do that's going to make me feel even better. Whether that is listening to music, whether that is dancing, whether that is listening to something inspirational, I like to do too. So see, because we energy, we're supposed to be embodying the totality of God. That's the being part and the doing part. Yeah, being and doing, but make sure whatever you're being and make sure whatever you're doing makes you feel good. Yeah, that's the secret. Whatever you're being and whatever you're doing, you got to feel good while doing it. If not, you're creating disharmony. If not, you're creating dis-ease inside of yourself. It took me a long time to figure that out, and I'm hopeful that somebody be picking this thing up. <laughs> So yeah, I literally just got iodine this weekend. Yeah, they have the liquid iodine, and then um, they have um, these. This is what I have in my little cabinet this season. It's organic kelp granules, and I add it to my food sometimes. So yeah, you can get how whatever form you want, just as long as you consume it. As long as you consume it to electrify your body all over again. To get you back at a higher frequency and then you will turn around and you say what what depression you turn around and you say what insomnia girl i sleep good oh yeah I, I, I get a good night of sleep and then when i lay my head on my pillow i'm manifesting i'm doing my affirmation i'm drifting in other realms and then you become more spiritual then with no resistance because you're not wobbling no more you don't have no disease inside of your body no more and so he who the law sets free is free indeed. And this is nothing but the law of attraction at its work too now. You're giving your pain or giving your attention to those things that feel good in the matrix. Those things that are coded at a higher frequency in the matrix. You're paying attention to them. So basically this is the law of attraction. This is the law of assumption that you, you're healing yourself. This is the law of attraction that, wait, oh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want that kind. I want this kind. But give me more of that. Because more of that is going to equal more iron in my body. More of that is going to equal more magnesium in my body. More of that is going to electrify my already electric body. And I want to use my avatar in its highest potential. I didn't come here to just exist. I didn't come here to weather away and get to a lower frequency. I come to expand. I come to remember. I come to evolve. Yeah. So anyway, thank you. This live was confirmation I needed. No problem, Nubian. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, P. Rasan, and everybody else, all the 15 people up there. I appreciate you all being here. We had a storm going on, but I don't hear nothing no more. I was just running my mouth while the storm was going on outside because I couldn't leave. I'm out in the desert so we got sandstorms where you can't see and stuff so i guess the storm is over so i'm about to go back outside and just be and i'm thankful and hopeful that you will become wiser and become a beer just being able to just be being still and knowing that you're god be blessed babe